Ladies and gentlemen, imagine for a moment that you're standing at the threshold of an extraordinary opportunity. You are about to embark on a journey that was once preserved for astronauts and scientists, but is now opening up for ordinary people like you and me. This is the dawn of a new era in human exploration, an era we call space tourism. Today, I want to take you on a journey of our own, a journey into the rapidly evolving world of space tourism. I want to explore the possibilities and the profound impact that this industry could have on our world. First, let's talk about the dream. For centuries, many people, including myself, have gazed up at the night sky wondering what lies beyond our planet. Space tourism is the realization of that dream, making it possible for ordinary citizens to explore the wonders of space. Uh, it's, about re it's not just about reaching the stars, it's about expanding our horizons, pushing the boundaries of what is possible, uh, and exploring uh, the space. So to show you how much of a dream come true it is, uh, I want to tell you a story. So picture this, April 28th, 2001, uh, a day that launched not just a rocket, but a dream. Uh, Dennis Tito, a man with a vision, uh, hopped on a Soyuz to the ISS, uh, achieving his uh, childhood dream and, and being the first, becoming the first sp uh, space tourist uh, to ever exist, uh, making history too. Uh, but his uh, cosmic odyssey was not, was, was not easy, it was not a walk in the park. Uh, it started uh, back in 1961 uh, with dreams of outer space. Uh, facing hurdles in the 90s, he pursued Russian cooperation amid challenges. Mir's orbit and NASA's reservations added cosmic twists, undeterred uh, Tito train in Star City, uh, triumphing negotiations uh, and getting a seat uh, on the Soyuz to the ISS. So uh, in this story, uh, finally, <laughs> liftoff uh, April 28, 2001, uh, marked the ascent of Tito uh, to the uh, ISS, creating euphoria that lasted in the cosmos for eight glorious days. Uh, this, in, in this tale, we find not just a man in space, but the ignition of an industry uh, and a paradigm shift in our cosmic aspirations. B back on Earth by May 6, 2001, Chino not only achieved his childhood dream, but also kick-started a space tourism revolution uh, far beyond his expectations. Uh, now, you might be wondering, what does space tourism entail? What is space tourism? Well, it's not just a joyride for the ultra-rich, which I also thought it was from the beginning. It actually is a multifaceted industry, which involves um, suborbital and orbital flights, space hotels, lunar tourism, and more. Uh, many companies like SpaceX, Blue Origin, and Virgin Galactic are leading the way, but many more are emerging, uh, making space accessible for a broader range of people. Uh, and even though it remains um, out of reach for most due to the high costs currently, um, it's still we need to look at the uh, at the history, and we uh, need to look at how uh, many a uh, luxury uh, and many items that started as luxury then involved uh, evolved uh, into something that's uh, used every day. Like for example, um, air travel. Like it w at the beginning, it was uh, only a luxury that only a few people could uh, allow themselves, and now almost every human has traveled uh, using an airplane. Which and I also. Think think the same will happen with space tourism. Um, yeah, and even though a lot of people say that space uh, tourism is not very good for the environment, it actually is spurring propulsion, spurring propulsion in a more uh, eco-friendly uh, manner, and uh, pr it's, it's inspiring a lot of new technologies and inspiring us to think more creatively about how we can preserve our Earth while exploring beyond it. And of course, regulations and international cooperation will play a vital role in ensuring the sustainable development of space tourism, which I think is very important once uh, kickstarting something new. Um, yes. So why should we care about space tourism? Beyond all of the adventure and excitement, space tourism can actually inspire the next generation of engineers, uh, astronauts, and scientists. Um, it can drive technological advancements that have applications here on Earth, and it, it can help us develop some things um, here. Uh, and it can also foster international cooperation as we work together to explore the cosmos. And most importantly, uh, Space tourism can even bring peace to the world. So you might be wondering how. Uh, I want to tell you a story, uh, and here's a quote by Anusha Ansari, Anusha Ansari who uh, was one of the uh, space tourists, and she uh, shares her experience. Uh, she says that the outer space experience exceeds all expectations and is something that is hard to put into words. It sort of reduces things to a size that you think everything is manageable. All, thing, all, all these things that seem big and impossible, we can do this. Peace on Earth, no problem. It gives people that type of energy, that type of power, and I have experienced that.
So imagine cosmic awakening, a shift that transcends the ordinary. Uh, this is not just a tale of astronauts. Uh, this is the narrative uh, of the overview effect. Uh, it's, uh, it is the phenomenon uh, that creates uh, mere mortals into cosmic dream weavers. Uh, suddenly, the Earth isn't just your home, uh, isn't just a planet, it's a pale blue dot uh, in the vast cosmic canvas. And uh, nebulous dance, stars twinkle, and in that cosmic ballet, uh, a sense of unity emerges. So why keep this revelation locked away? Uh, the overview effect uh, has great potential. Uh, it, 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 it makes us uh, think of the Earth as, a, as this pale blue dot. It motivates us um, to protect this pale blue dot. It uh, inspires uh, new in innovations and uh, the development of new technologies to protect this pale blue dot. Uh, and it unites us as humans. And that's, that's why I said that uh, space tourism can bring peace to the world, because it will bring the unity uh, of all humans if they all have experienced that. So I think the development of space tourism far further and many more people trying uh, space tourism uh, over time will help us here on Earth as well. So, in conclusion, I want to say that space tourism is not just an industry. It's an opportunity for all of us to be greater, uh, to learn, and to unite as one species under the vast canopy of the universe. Uh, space tourism is our gateway to the stars, and it's a journey worth taking. Thank you.